Hello folks, let's go and take a look at dialogue flow today. What is dialogue flow? Uh, think of this as the framework or the uh, software that will help you converse or talk to a bot in natural language. Uh, as an example, some of your conversations to your bot could be uh, these all different, uh, you know, you're trying to find out the weather, for example, right? You would ask the bot, can you tell me if it's hot in Palo Alto right now? What's the temperature in Sunnyvale? Or, you know, these are the different questions you might ask the bot and uh, the bot would come back with a reply. I do not have the reply here, but uh, the bot would come back with a reply as to what the weather is. Or here is another example where you're trying to book a flight and uh, these are the couple of things, uh, examples of what you might tell the bot to book a flight. Uh, this one is to order a pizza as an example. Right, I would like to order a veggie pizza with jalapenos and pineapple a topping on a thin crust. Or here is an actual full-blown conversation where you're talking to a bot saying that uh, you want to get a pizza. Dialogue flow is what will help your bot understand this natural language conversation. These items that you see here in blue are what are called entities. Uh, you know, it could be a place, state, uh, thing and uh, what's highlighted here is what the intention is actually called intent as to what you want to do with your bot that's the intent so here as an example i've already built a yahoo weather bot or basically a weather bot wherein you would go and talk to the bot and say hello how is i think this will come up i have it in memory how is the weather in sunny whale it's supposed to come back with the reply and say, today the weather in sunny Vale is uh, so and so. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at how you can do this. Go to dialog flow, create a new agent, call it my weather app, give it whatever name you want. Once you create the uh, agent by default it gets populated with what is called default welcome intent and a default fallback intent what is a welcome intent if I, if you talk to the bot and say hello uh, well it right now goes to the fallback intent because there is uh, nothing in your from a training perspective so let me open this up put in a couple of examples hello save this the minute now when i say hello it's going to come back and uh, take one of these responses from here and uh, reply to you now when I say how are you it won't understand and it goes back to the default intent right let me click on that this is the default intent basically if the bot doesn't understand what you're talking of it'll go to what is called the default intent let's go ahead and populate this a little bit more now this time when I say how are you the bot is going to understand uh, the intent as the default welcome intent and it's going to respond with one of these options here. If I had only one option here, like if I were to delete all these and if I had only one option here, it would always come back and say hi. Now let's see how we can get to creating the weather bot which I was talking of here. This section, just to go back once more, right, these are these are in uh, you know various intents and within each in each intent the section up here is you populate it with a few examples you don't need extensive examples but you know it would be great to have at least 10 plus examples as to what you expect the user to say so we go back here and we're going to create a new intent this time my intent is going to be get weather right and i am going to say how is the You see the minute I pressed enter, Sunnyvale got highlighted in yellow and it recognized that it is an entity and uh, you know basically there are some system entities which Dialogflow can recognize and this is one of those. It recognizes that Sunnyvale is a geo city. Uh, let's give it one more example. Is it hot in? Here's another geo city that it recognized as so I'm going to save that and for my respond, I'm just going to say the weather is great. That's all I'm going to say for now. So now let's go back to go here. Actually, I'm going to type it here. How is the weather in Sunnyvale? 
the weather is great. So basically it's coming back with this text response which I put in here. Now I actually want to give reply with the actual weather. I want the bot to reply with the actual weather. What do I need to do for that? In Dialogflow's previous examples, the, you know, they have this Python code wherein they are calling uh, the Yahoo Weather API and uh, it's implemented on Heroku. But off late, I've been getting a lot of comments where users are saying they're having trouble with Heroku. So here's uh, a very similar app or actually the same with a few minor changes here and there. But this one, we'll run it locally on our machine. I am right now running it on my machine. It's running actually, let me say clear all. Now, how do I make my bot talk to this webhook? So basically this is Python code, which is running, uh, you know, it makes use of Flask uh, so that it's running at service. There, it's making use of Flask, what it over here it is. It's making use of Flask and Dialogflow cannot reach this because this is local, running locally on my machine and it's not necessarily available out there on the internet, maybe due to firewall or whatnot, right? Here is where it comes in Ngrok. hope I'm pronouncing it right. But Ngrok is a very simple utility which you would install on your computer. It's just a quick download, exe file, depending on whatever you're running, Windows or whatnot. You install it, go to the folder that has ngrok and simply say ngrok HTTP from command line 80. In this particular case, it is not 80, but it's going to be 5000. So you just say ngrok HTTP and 5000. And yeah, here it says what it'll do. Basically, it'll make a local server available out on the web, which is what Dialogflow needs. I've already got it running. I'm not going to run it again. And it'll give me a URL that I can use to feed into Dialogflow or tell Dialogflow, hey, go to this URL to get your answer. I am going to go to Fulfillment. For Fulfillment, I'm going to say, use this URL for your Fulfillment. Oops. No. And for this, I'm going to say static reply. So I have a method in my webhook that says static reply. And here is that method. Static reply it just responds and says hello there. This is a reply from the webhook. So let's try it out. I need to save it and then I go back to my intent. Get weather. Down here I need to go to fulfillment and say use webhook. We go here and say how is the weather in Sunnyvale? Hello there. This is a reply from the webhook. Let's Go and make a quick change here to sh make sure that this is coming from the webhook. Yeah, it saved that. When I save it, just because I have the uh, debug equal to true, it restarts automatically. And this time when I say, how is the weather in Sunnyvale, it comes back and say, hello there. This reply is from the webhook. Quick change here. Now let's go ahead and change this once again. This time what we are going to do is... Uh, call the uh, here's a method I'm going to call I'm going to call the webhook endpoint instead of calling the static reply endpoint and if you see somewhere in here it's looking for this particular action so I need to take this name here and paste it in as the action name I mean it could be anything just that I'll need to go change that action name here then in my code so I think that saved it and this time I go back here to my fulfillment and say instead of static reply I'm going to say webhook save how is the weather in Sunnyvale and voila that comes back the weather how is the weather in Palo Alto there you go there it uh, comes back with the weather in Palo Alto too. So yeah, that th that was that simple. You see, uh, you could just quickly get a quick start. I mean, you don't even need Heroku if you don't want. Uh, this is suitable for your end, uh, you know, development purposes. Of course, if you want to host this somewhere and you know, not necessarily depend on your computer after your development, you probably need some kind of a hosting service. I personally like uh, Google App Engine and Google Compute Engine, uh, but yeah, you're free to choose Heroku or whatever you like, AWS maybe, I don't know. And uh, one other quick point on the integration. Uh, you know, there are various options that Dialogflow is providing out of the box. 
the simplest one I had shown you was the web demo where you just switch this on take this URL and I try it out here and then I can start talking to it here All right I'm not gonna go ahead but uh, there are various other integration points uh, the Google assistant is very straightforward I had another example where I had shown how my kids were having some fun with Google assistant by doing some work in dialog flow Facebook Messenger, Slack, and whatnot. Many options available here for you to uh, integrate your bot with and uh, use this system or use this channel as your means of communicating with the end user. So yeah, that was a quick look at Dialogflow. Again, the intention here was to show you how simple it is and maybe use Ngrok so you don't have to necessarily depend on an external uh, cloud service provider or something like that for uh, providing your back-end webhook service. Uh, hope this video has helped folks for you to get started. Uh, if you had liked the same, I appreciate a thumbs up on the same and uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day folks. Bye-bye.